everyone, this is Al Fowley. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing okay. So today I'm doing the VOD review of Rosa. This is actually Rosa's first VOD. Rosa comes into my chat really, really often. It's honestly so, so lovely and so, so helpful in the chat. Um, I love Rosa, honestly. And um, first ever VOD for Rosa today. So we're going to look at basically Rosa's uh, Mercy today. We have the Soul Bloom skin on, which is obviously my personal favourite. It's really, really cute. Along with the little D20 dice as well, which is adorable charm. I love it so, so much. Uh, Rosa is gold one. I was going to read out what Rosa's put as well for the kind of notes. Um, I finished with one death, which is really, really good. Uh, 4.5k damage amps and 13k healing with five reses. Uh, this was a 17 minute match, okay? Um, and they also put, sometimes I get anxious uh, about resin. I worry a lot uh, about whether the res is worth it until I lose the chance. So it seems like a lot of this mod, I feel as though we're going to be looking at resurrect. So if you are struggling with that kind of timings and stuff like that, then we can look at that basically today so we're just gonna look at your team before this starts because i realized i've started it right like really close to where the door is open so we have ourselves a bastion a sojourn a sigma and a bap this is a beautiful damage boost comp for, for mercy the reasoning is because obviously when bastion's in his turret form great damage boost sojourn is obviously you know you saw the sojourn's mercy meta in like season two obviously not strong anymore but still really really strong perfect to damage boost Sigma is actually so strong to damage boost for, like, for the rocks and everything like that. It's great. Bap is basically a third DPS at this point, so you could also damage boost him really, really well as well. Um, so yeah, so we're going to have a look to see how you do. So I've gone past you already. This is a great start. <laughs> so yeah, so already like playing out of the LOS, which is great. Sticking that blue beam on that bastion as soon as it goes into it. Perfect. So it ends up not doing too great on the slide. Can't do anything about that because your back is a missing slam. Well, they try to help him get out though, which is perfect. Lovely flick onto the damage to the Sojourn. Already oh, doing so, so great. I love this. Love how you're playing this cover. Your cover usage is perfect so far. Lovely getting your beam onto the Sigma. Leaving him when he's like quite full HP. Perfect. You end up rotating round, which is great here. Love the jiggle peeking right now. This is perfect gameplay so far. Okay, instead of over rotating around the front here, this is my own. This is literally your only mistake so far, right? Instead of rotating around the front, rotate around the back. The reason is because if you rotate around the front, you make yourself very vulnerable to all these people. If you rotate around the back, it basically just means that you're not going to get picked off. So you could just like rotate back down here, and then you could just like play like kind of crouched here to kind of like block out the west out of people and play with your sojourn. But other than that, really great so far. Uh, I need to go back to you. There we are. Really great so far. So it's damage boosting the Bastion again, which is great. All the heals on the bat. Uh, sorry, the, not even the bat. <laughs> the, the Sigma. Obviously helping him now, which is great. Okay. Let's look at this. So. Obviously, so your soldier ends up sliding in. I love how you stay because obviously the Sojourn's here. I would maybe like play like... So the architecture on this map is really stupid in my opinion. I will be honest. Like, especially if you're playing Lucio, like, there is no way you can wall ride on this map, unfortunately. Um, I love how you stay there, right? This is perfect. If you want to go and help commit with this, with a sojourn, I'd look to kind of GA, and I don't know what a lot of people know about this. You can sit on these balconies, right? So you can go and you can, like, GA up to, like, one of these and stand up here and help. Because then it saves you from, obviously, being close to this um, Junker Queen and stuff. And it gives you that high advantage, right? So you can you can even GA up to here if you wanted to as well. But these, um, these what's it called? These, like, little balconies are really, really great just to kind of, like, stand on. And you can just put your damage boost on and help out. I love how you're going to go and help her, though. This is really, really great. You just need to work on that position a little bit more. Obviously, I end up getting stuck on the car a little bit. I would have done a directional GA up onto the high ground here. And then you can crouch down like behind these tables and stuff like that here. Because obviously you want, instead of just flinging yourself up into the air, it makes you very vulnerable to this ash, right? But you doing this angle GA gets you up onto this high ground a lot quicker and in the safety. And then you can actually use these tables to like crouch behind these like chairs and stuff if you need to, up until someone like comes and basically focuses them. So love, love this use of like cover and stuff like that. Once again, lovely super jump over. Lovely. My only like slight little critique there is I would have let, yeah, as, as you just done there, is to let the bat heal the, uh, the Sigma just so he can get his ultimate as well as yours because you're both very close to it. 
I'd love to damage boost the the size of the sigma ult. Sorry, I'd be I'd be very pinnacity right now with you because I'm already seeing that you you perform way better than the gold one, Rosa, hundred percent already, right? Literally, like I'm I'm just gonna go through like a little bit like more stuff with you, right? So when the sigma goes and does the, the initial lift up with his flux, put a damage boost on him. The reasoning is because he does like initial damage with the flux upwards, so you can get that off, and then I would return back to damage boosting these guys. It doesn't matter too much if you're with them like all the time in this window because the window normally like, zones people so they're not actually gonna be able to hit anyone and also if they do end up shooting anyone then it's gonna be like pretty easy too nice heals lovely lovely back this ga that's fine we realized we're ashes lovely ping Perfect. That's that's a really good res. That is no problem with that res already. That's a really great res. Love how he went to the cover. No problem with that res. Lovely damage boost. Obviously, no jungle queens coming, which is great. Lovely pink again. Love how healthy is Sojourn. Back out. Lovely. Lovely heals. I, I cannot fault your beam management. It is really, really good. Will they get your sojourn out? Gosh, this is like your spawn camp in them right now. Help your sojourn. Lovely. Okay, so we know Bob's coming. Lovely positioning. Obviously helping Sigma because your bath isn't there. You cannot help Sojourn, she's really far in, so that's fine. Okay, I've been looking to get back out a little bit sooner here. This, this is great. Okay, so I would have backed out a little bit sooner here, just so, because obviously it looks like they're going to rush into you, specifically because they have Ryan and Lucio. Ryan and Lucio normally go really, really well together and they'll just speed in the Ryan, okay? This is what I was like a little bit afraid about for you, right? You essentially just want to back off a little bit quicker, keep that beam on, because you still have a bit like extra in that beam range that you need. This Valk is fine, but you have this Bastion up here, right? So as soon as you Valk, it's fine to help the Sigma, but then as soon as its immortality comes up with this um, BAP and they're kind of like fine as they are. Excuse me, sorry. They're obviously going to be shooting like these guys and stuff like that, but he's going to have a gigantic shield that's just going to block all this. So your damage boost is going to do nothing. What you can do is use your Valk still, come up a little bit more, still hug this wall though, and you can like play here instead of playing back where you are. If you play up here, you can put a blue beam on this Bastion and he could just shred through people right now. So blue beam him, or you can obviously, you know, you can help these guys as well if you need to. But you can just, you can sit here and juggle your beams like how you are, right? Uh, but we'll keep going. So you do end up doing that now, which is great. It's sadly at the end of his like turret, which isn't the best. Lovely. Lovely rotation. Love how you go to go help your soldier on there, that's great. Can't help Sigma there. This is just a back off. Yeah, this is just a back off, unfortunately. Okay, we use an ult though. Like. Okay, that's fine. They got B out of them, so that's fine. Think I do eventually? Yeah. You, you did end up doing it, it's just a tad a little bit too late because obviously it's out of that turret form. You just want to get that blue beam on a little bit quicker. Lovely back out though, that was really, really great. Like where you positioned was great. Look how you damage boost in this Bastion ult. Perfect. Lovely damage boost. Is it helping back? Lovely lift up. That's what I meant before about the lift up of the flux. Great damage boost through the window. I would maybe be damage boosting Bastion there a little bit more than the Sojourn just because he's in that turret form. Lovely, lovely ping. You can rotate through though. Yeah, nice. But we'll get, get your Glock out. Come on. Yes. Lovely Glock. Okay, where where does your Sojourn die? Is she like all all the way over here? I don't want to like rewind it back because I, I don't want to like go. Oh yeah, okay. So she she was like proper in there. That's fine. You did the right thing of like peeling for your bab here. There is no way you're going to res that or do anything. That is perfectly fine. So she's back with Bastion now. Great damage boost. Lovely. 
lovely. You just have to be careful of Shatter now. So I'd be like planning to basically play a little bit more like around corners a little bit more for it. Oh no wait, hold on, you used it last fight, didn't you? Never mind. That's alright. Still, it's always good to be weird though. <laughs> alright, that res, I don't think you're gonna get off. Love how you tilt your head hitbox away. Great. That's fine. Yeah, just back out. Awesome. Your bow should have walked this way. I think he's trying to go back to always oh, hide you, bless him. Nice stab him to the bastion. Lovely. Lovely bow. Lovely. Okay, my only thing with this Valk is I would look to see if I could touch here. I was trying to distract him. Oh, okay, fair enough, Rosa. I was like, what's it called? I was like hoping that um, he would like come back with you, but he didn't do it, right? This Valk is good. My only thing with this Valk is I would look to actually try and stall it out yourself here, okay? The reasoning is because, let's rewind it back, actually. I'll, re I'll watch it in the rewind, okay? So, great distraction. Awesome. I, I like this idea. Damage boost in the Bastion. This is great. Okay. Obviously, wait for everyone to get back. I Valk now. Perfect. Okay. What's going to happen here is because this Ryan's hit a big slam, he's going to want to focus all these guys. So, what you can do is let the payload move forward a little bit more as it's doing. And then as it's kind of like moved forward a little bit more, you can actually get out and you can just like play this card. Like just kind of like move yourself because you're in Valk, right? Move yourself about like this. Allow the card to be contested a little bit longer, especially because you you can very easily just melt down this rhyme, which is basically what happened. This is kind of the point where I'd look to contest the point. So GA, GA, come and contest the point play around the point like this like do 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 like all this you know kind of stuff do if you like backwards ga is like you know in and out like this just stall it out for like a, a second or two once your team get a little bit closer then it gives them chance to recontest this because i feel as though you know if, if you're able to come and contest this a little bit more then you would be able to basically keep this point especially because that mercy dives in to try and go and help him as well a little bit damage boost though you can still hold it here which is great I'll go help Sojourn, that's fine. Great right how you left her. Will they try to heal the Bastion? My other thing here is I would try to play a little bit more risk risky here. I think I was too scared of the hit scan, so it never came to mind. It's, it's very much that what's gonna happen is especially if you manage to get up in this like little corner of the of like getting in, they're gonna be so tunnel visioned on getting these guys specifically because they are in that you know like the gold like plat kind of rank that you're in at the moment a lot of tunnel vision a lot of like tunnel vision is going to go in right so they're just going to be absolute tunnel vision on getting in so you like coming up and around like this they hopefully shouldn't see you at least like for a second and even if they do have those hit scans remember it's a hit scan right they need that kind of los to look at you as soon as you get in and you're able to kind of like crouch down behind this point who do they have to shoot at you like what like a, a lucio because they mercy goes in to go and help um so they don't have the damage boost so you can literally just go around but it's fine it's just like a little what's it called a little extra thing and then at this point it was great that you went to go and like help with um the bastion and stuff like that that's awesome my only thing is that you've backed off quite far here right what you can do is you can back off and just kind of like play here i would say because then you can help this bastion you can help this uh, sigma obviously you can't really help a bap at all really to be fair it's just that you've backed out quite far away from this team fight i feel oh sorry i rewound it i feel so like you just kind of backed off a little bit that's a res hold on let me let me rewind it all because i've kind of like lost it all a little bit so obviously can't help sojourn that's fine so bastion ends up getting caught out Okay, this is the point where you kind of like fling yourself up onto this high ground. Instead of flinging yourself up here, I'd fling myself to like down here instead. Because then it means you can still help these guys. And then once that Bastion drops, you can then still help him here. Okay? Because at the moment, you're very out of like the way of the point. Right? So I'm just going to go back to your POV now. Because I feel like it's kind of like where we ended. This is a res. 
you can 100% get the res off, okay? So the, this is the first start to your res. If you get this off quick, you can reach it because you saw it like flash as soon as you reach this doorway. You can literally get this res off here. Because the car, the, the hit scans are on the point like this. Literally just get in and res. You, If you need to, you can also go in and then just kind of like fling yourself into this corner if you feel like, you know, you can't reach it from there. You can fling yourself into this corner. But this is this is 100% a res opportunity for you. Which I, I feel as though this is like one of your things like that you're toying up about the reses and stuff. Plus the fact your Sigma is like still healthy and stuff. And if you get that Bastion out, it can actually be really helpful like to kind of hold it off a little bit sooner. So to help the Sigma get out. Nice, CPU's beat, which is great. This is Lucio doesn't seem to be too great with his beat, which is good. That's how you stay. Okay. You don't need to peel back for this bash at all. You can literally just stay with your Sojourn here, right? The reason is because Sojourn ults don't get a lot of... Oh, sorry. I was going to, but I heard the Bab die, so I was scared it would stagger us. Like, if, if you stayed with the Bastion and kept, like, hold of that kind of, like you know, that fort, like, you know, the, basically you could hold the fort down here with like your Bastion and your Sigma. Because if you go and res this, uh, this if you res that Bastion quickly, it can then mean that he's basically taking control of this area. Your Sigma was still really like full HP. He's still there. A 3v5 is still winnable, especially because you have that Flux still available. You also nearly had the Bastion all as well. Like this is still like quite winnable for you. I understand why you're scared of it though. I'm really good thinking of you though. But, you know, you, you can still, like, give it a go. All right. So, with this Bastion ult, going back to this Bastion ult, with this Bastion ult, you do not need to damage boost this, okay? With, damage, with Bastion ult, Bastion ult, basically, unless if your team is doing nothing and is just focusing on the damage, on the, on the Bastion ult, you want to damage boost it. The rest of the time, like, Bastion ult is basically only used as, like, a zoning ultimate. A bit like a Diva Bomb, right? Because... Obviously, with a Diva Bomb, you don't want to be in the range of it. It creates a lot of space. It's the same with, like, Bat Window. Nobody wants to pick a Bat Window, so it creates space. This is the exact same with this Bastion ult. It's going to create space on this point. How can this help? You can damage this your Sojourn. You can keep your eyes on this Ash and get a hold of this Ash with your damage boost, right? Because you damage boosting this ultimate is, like, going to do nothing here. So it's just a bit of, like, a... You know, just like a... Why can't I go this way? Oh, there I can go that way. That's all right. Just a little bit of like a, a full process behind there. But that's fine. Obviously, da like Bastion does like a lot of damage and stuff like that. But it's just, it's not going to do anything where it is, basically. A little bit of rotation though, helping your Bastion. A little bit of rotation. I would try to rotate to the Sojourn a little bit quicker than what you did. Like as soon as the uh, Bastion ult has ended, I love how you obviously rotated up here while the Bastion ult was on. As soon as that Bastion ult has ended, use him to get to your Sojourn. Because then at that point, Sojourn is going to be the one that's going to do the most damage, okay? Uh, but apart from that, we'll keep going. So obviously helping Sigma out, which is great. Love how you, you didn't fully slingshot in, that's perfect. Same thing, we want to damage boost the, um, what's it called? Okay. I just want to quickly talk about this, okay. When when you see this, um, this Rhine and then your Bastion's in his turret form, that's when you want to damage boost that Bastion. You just want to damage boost him, just try and get him down as quick as you can. Okay? I love that. I like this res. My only thing with this res is that you super jumping up like this to do this res is putting you very vulnerable to these hit scans. What you can do instead to make this res safer is like ping the res and say, you know, like I'll bring them back and stuff like that. Or if you want to use your voice in VC, I don't know how confident you are in using your voice in VC, you can ask your Sigma, hey, can I have a shield? And if he has a shield, free res, okay? Just use super jumping up like this puts you very vulnerable. Or even just like resing down here in general is very vulnerable to these guys. So just ask for your Sigma, hey, can I have like a body block or like a res or something for that? Just so you get off a little bit safer. But nice res though. There's a damage boost in your Sojourn now, which is fine. Lovely damage boost when it's in turret form again. Very, very nice. Lovely. Love how you've out. Lovely position him. That's not a res at the moment because you can't obviously res it. Lovely repositioning of yourself. He is still resable. Yes. Okay. Your Bastion is still resable. You can now res this. 
because you can use your Valk to like get properly like down here specifically as well because this ash is gone as soon as the ash is gone you can now go for this res and i'm hoping you will we quickly get back to you yes perfect awesome really really great honestly bros i'm not having any problems with your reses right now honestly it's really really good your general positioning is beautiful lovely damage boost same thing again, you don't need to go to that bastion ult. I don't think that would have saved your sojourn if she's like right in the back line again. Just unfortunately you couldn't get your beam on. Yeah, this is when you die. Nice. That's why. Nice that you didn't stag yourself as well, you just died there instantly. This is really, really great stuff, Rosa, honestly. If you're, your mercy is really, really good. Like, if you played a comp a lot more and a little bit more confident, you 100% could climb out of gold one. You could go up to, like, diamond masters already at this point. Like, this is really great stuff. Just the same thing again, just damage with your, um, your Bastion. Love how you rotate now to your Sojourn, which is great. And you're pushing them all off. Perfect. Rosa, your Mercy is outstanding. Already. Like... Honestly, do not do not be afraid to play comp and play Mercy like this. Your Mercy is really, really good. Your positioning is beautiful. Your beam management... The, okay, apart from knowing on who to put your beam on at certain points, other than that, like, your damage boost and um, healing is great, okay? Your aim as well was really good as well. Really, really love your decision... De sorry, decision making. There's just slight little things with the Bastion, which... Um, I feel as though it just kind of like come with time with obviously, you know, you don't need to damage boost the Bastion ult, you can go and damage boost other things. Um, and then obviously when that Bastion is in his turret form, try to damage boost him. I love the, I love the Sojourn coming to come and say hello to you, which is lovely. All right, let's carry on going. Okay, we have a Hog now. So obviously be looking to kind of damage boost those um, Hog hooks as well. You know, it's bad. And it's your little like damage boost shopping list, I guess. No, no, it was really good on the, what's it called, on the Ash earlier. Love the damage boost on the, um, on the, what's it called, on the Bastion. Helping Hog again, which is great. Lovely. Lovely health on your Bab. So, as soon as that Bab's healthy here, though, you can just damage boost this Bastion. Uh, for a second then as soon as that bastion's created some space like this then you can go and heal these guys but other than that really really great lovely follow through on the sojourn what you can do here this is just a very minute thing because Rosa, i'm treating this as more like a diamond bot at this point right literally um when the sojourn slides up like this she has nothing to challenge her to um what's it called um to shoot at her at this point and even though she's like kind of that critical level, still stick the blue beam on her. If you stick this blue beam on her, then um she can try and like baby get you know like kill someone basically. Um and then as she makes this rotation round, that's the point when you can heal her, right? Just try and get that blue beam up time, like the, the useful blue beam up time, a little bit up, a little bit more. But other than that, it's just a very minute thing I'm gonna give to you now. So love how you're positioned here. My only thing is I'd play a little bit more like in the cover. Nice. I won't fling myself up here. Just once again, you're very out of the way. Lovely pings, though. Did your Bastion actually make it? Oh, no. I was like, because I, I looked at your Bastion trying to like rocket jump himself up. There is no way you could do that. And I was like, huh? But no, he didn't make it, which is good. <laughs> so, oh, great how you obviously staying with your, your Sojourn. Lovely damage boost there. I love how you stayed with the Bastion there. That's great. Which you can't do anything. Nice how you just back yourself out. Lovely escape. My, my thing with you saying that obviously you stayed on the Bastion is because you know you can't save the bat, which is great. So you end up save, saving it on like the Bastion, which is great. Lovely. Lovely damage boost. Lovely. rotating round which is really really nice 
Obviously, we, we talked about the Bastion ult earlier, so I won't, won't repeat myself with that again. But we know about that. Lovely. Lovely damage boost. Lovely beam management here. Lovely, lovely. Like, what's it called? Like, where, when she goes and peeks and you damage boost even though she's still on fire? Great. Because I see a lot of Mercy just like constantly just like on the healing beam when uh, people are on fire. Like, if people are on fire and are like full HP and they go and peek something, just take the damage boost on them. Do the shield there, so that's fine if you stand there. Lovely positioning now, though. Lovely help your sojourn. Lovely positioning. Ooh, okay. I look. Yep, I was about to say I'd bow, which is great. When when you do this Valk, you kind of like want to like basically find your cover. So your cover right now would actually up until this Bob comes out, it would actually be kind of like around here-ish. And then as soon as it, the you know it kind of like pulls out, you just want it's it's really hard Valking on this hill because there's such little cover. Because obviously they were like just stood like shooting at you like from here. Like there is hardly any. So when you Valk, actually in this kind of scenario, you just want to play as like low to the ground as you can. Either playing over here or like playing over here. This is just what you want to do with this Valk. It's great that you used it though. Perfect. Just try like to keep more towards the ground when you do. Like like how you are now. Like, you're lovely positioned right now. Lovely help on the Sojourn. Lovely. Okay, I would have had my beam on the, the Sojourn a little bit sooner there, but apart from that, that's alright. It's very open, I was panicking. It is so hard to get a good Valk off. Beautiful! So, oh my god. Bro, um, Rosa, I don't know why if you told me that you need to help with Rezzers. That was a be amazing. You, you do not need help with resin whatsoever. Your resins are amazing. Oh, I want to rewatch that again because that was so beautiful. Let me rewatch it. Okay. But my only thing you did wrong is that you should have had your beam on your sojourn at this point. That's literally the only mistake that you make here, right? So we're going to be back off. Damage boost on the Bastion. I love this. That is beautiful. That is amazing. And then you go and help with the flux. Obviously, he ends up getting picked off. That's fine. Oh, my fault that she dies. Yeah, but like the, the res makes up for it, though. I'm going to be honest. Obviously, she ends up going back in again while you end up healing for people. So that's fine. That's not your fault, that, that death. You need to like just kind of keep people up here, just kind of like hold space. Which is what you're doing like perfectly here. Lovely positioning. Lovely how you switch to that sojourn. You, you, like it's, it's situations like this, right? Your Bastion is very out of range and he also like doesn't need this healing. Literally just commit commit fully like with your sojourn here just commit with the damage boost you don't you don't need to be with what's called you don't need to be with your bastion just like a few few, few things but the thing as well is that you tend to just be super jumping a little bit too much in the open it's a little bit more of an issue with this map um than other ones just purely because of how open it is and stuff obviously we talked about the bastion ult again so that's fine lovely healing Lovely. Just wait for her to come back to you at that point. But lovely. Lovely. Commit. Commit as well in with the what's called. With the sojourn. Love how you back out. Go and hide. Nice. Really, really nice. Yeah. Nice that you're just staying on point here. Go to go help your sojourn. Which is really, really nice. Lovely position yourself ready for him. Switching for Sojourn is great. As soon as she's in that lamp though, go back to um, damage in your Bastion. 
Now you can see that he's hiding a little bit now, so you can like, go and help. Now res. Okay, don't fling yourself forward a little bit too much because you want to like stay in that cover. I would have done it a tiny, tiny little bit sooner, but probably like gray. Lovely king, get your Glock out, go on. Nice, really good. Lovely positioning. End of game caught out of the flux because you don't have your GA, that is fine. Nice, lovely Glock usage. Falcon. My other thing is don't fling yourself forward into this Valk. The reasoning is because, for example, with this Ash, but also a lot of the time in higher ranks, people switch to Widowmaker for this end point because it's so open. And they'll come and like up onto these higher grounds and stuff like that and start shooting you down. You don't want to G yourself forward in with this Valk here. You literally just want to kind of pop the Valk and just stay up here. If you like you want to, like literally just, just stay up here. Alright? Apart from that, really, really great. But really, really great. Beautiful, Rosa. Ro Rosa, I'm going to say this to you now. Do not be afraid to go into comp if you play your Mercy like that. That Mercy is exemplary. Like, you you should be in, like, Diamond Master's level. Go Honestly, next time you play Overwatch, just kind of take a nice deep breath and think to yourself, I'm going to play comp and just do it. Because that is amazing Mercy gameplay right there. Like, that is not Gold 1. That is, that is like, that is, like, high, like, Master's level Mercy. Okay? Like, you were saying to me, oh, I had problems with reses. None of your reses were bad there. My only thing is that there were certain, like, for example, with the Bastion, I feel as though you could have maybe got off the res there a little bit more. With, um, and then obviously with the Sojourn, you could have avoided that res maybe with, like, helping her. And, oh, the back one as well. Just try to, like, play a, a little bit more back. But these are, like, minor things. This is not, like, you saying, oh, I, you know, I get anxious about resin. You were not anxious about resin at, at any point. Like, they, it was so, so good, okay? B management. Amazing. My, okay, this is my only little thing is kind of, it comes to your beam management, but this is not like beam management in general. This is more um, with your um, with your Bastion. Remember with Bastion, it's more like a zoning ultimate rather than like an actual like kill ultimate. Um, so don't try and, don't back yourself away from a team fight to go and damage boost it. Instead, damage boost your team that will be able to act upon the, the, um, the Bastion. Ult. And there's also a few points where you can damage boost... Um, the Bastion instead of your Sojourn, just purely because he will do more damage and will probably like, you know, if he has like the same angle as your Sojourn, then 100% just stick that damage boost on him because he's going to do a lot more than your Sojourn. And then once he gets out of that turret form, then you can damage boost the Sojourn. But that's honestly, and then oh, a few times as well, just try not to play out in the open a little bit too much. Like uh, there's like a minor, minor, like few little times. I think it's purely because it's circuit and obviously circuit is like, you need to just play on the ground pretty much on the circuit. There's just a few times where you kind of like fling yourself up into the air in your Valks and stuff like that. Try to play it a little bit more in the cover with them. But Rosa, honestly, get yourself into comp and go and like, go and get yourself up to Masters because you deserve it, honestly. Um, But anyways, that was an absolutely amazing VOD from Rosa there. Once again, you can get your own VODs. They offer 5,000 channel points on my Twitch. I do them on Mondays and I also stream on Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays where you guys can also see my own gameplay. You guys can come and chill in my chat. Come and see other amazing VODs like that. We I do VODs from bronze all the way to like GM, even top 500 for Mercy. Um, so whatever rank you are, come down. You can get a VOD from me for free. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all later. Bye.